It's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Yowie Bee. You wanted it, I bought it. Yes, that's right. If you follow me on Instagram, pretty pastel please, you'd know that I often say, hey guys, I'm doing a haul from whatever place. Send me your recommendations. It's normally stuff that my followers really want, but they just haven't bought. So I'll buy it. If I really like it, I'll recommend it to them. Sometimes the stuff is really, really terrible. <laughs> so there's a few things that I need to say before I unbox all of this stuff. If you're just here for the clothes, the timestamps are below. But I highly recommend you listen to what I have to say before you go placing an order for yourself. This has been an ongoing saga. I jumped on the site on March 18th and I had a minor freak out at the amount of pastel things that I saw all over the site. Now, because I'm woke to the fact that these websites use fake sales to lure you into buying more, I didn't fall for their shenanigans this time. Websites like Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo like to put a countdown timer at the top of the website and you see it and it'll say 80% off for the next four hours and you think to yourself, wow, lucky me, I just landed here and I've got the deal of a lifetime, I'm gonna get 80% off if I buy everything now. And then you buy it and then the countdown timer just clocks back and starts all over again. I've come to learn that everything on Pretty Little Thing is 50% off at all times. I have checked back every single day since I placed this order and that 50% timer has not gone away. So anyway, I bought my items and I paid an extra $10 for express shipping. And it said express shipping, you'll have it within five business days. So I bought my items, paid the extra $10. So on the fifth business day, <coughs> see even Archie knows that's fake news. On the fifth business day, I checked in because the parcel still hadn't arrived. And I looked at the tracking information and it hadn't left London yet. There's my first $10 wasted. So I sent them a message. That little uh, something there, friend. As soon as I sent it, a message popped up and said a member of our customer service team will be with you within 24 hours. Fast forward to seven business days later, no message from the customer service team, no tracking information. Still hasn't left London. So I sent them another message. Now we get to 10 business days later. Still no tracking information, still no response from customer service. So I send them another message. Yeah. A little bit more irritated this time. And I think because I used the word refund, it must have triggered an automated response because literally 30 seconds after I posted that, this came through. Now the tracking information that they gave me in that email is a completely different tracking number to the tracking number that's on the Pretty Little Thing website. So I looked into that tracking number and sure enough, there's all the information. Now turned out that on the ninth business day, it had actually arrived, but they didn't deliver it to me. They gave it to someone else in my building and I could see on the tracking information that that person had signed for it. Now, I knew who that person was because I recognized the name. So luckily for me, I Hello. was able- Hello. Luckily for me, I was able to actually get my stuff. But if they had given that to someone who didn't know me and just made off with it, I don't know what I would have done. I mean, that's $1,700. Now, normally I don't mind spending a lot of money on clothes because look, before you say, hey, why are you spend so much money on clothes if you're just going to return it? You don't walk into a shop, pick all the stuff off a hanger and then pay for it without trying it on. So why should you have to do that if you're shopping online? I mean, obviously you buy the stuff, you try it on and if you don't like it, you return it. It's not rocket science, far out. This stuff has arrived and I'm starting to think I've made a terrible mistake. I haven't opened any of this yet, but while I was waiting for this stuff to arrive, I kept looking on Google to see if anyone else was having the same problem and I came across this website. <laughs> Just take a look at these reviews. What is this? Sorry, I, I just got a YouTube notification. So hard watching your channel with the parrot, so distracting. It's okay, Archie. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. You know what, Miss Sia Makwabe? Normally, I do a bit of research into a website before I buy a lot of stuff from there, but Pretty Little Thing uses Georgia Gibbs as a model. George Gibbs is an Australian. I trusted Georgia Gibbs. I thought, if Georgia Gibbs is one of their models, obviously it's legit. Well, you know what, Georgia? I think you sold your soul to the pretty little devil here because you're modeling for a company that's clearly ripping people off. I mean, take one look at this website. 
I wish I had looked at this website before I made my order because seriously, look at all these one star reviews. Just look at them. And this is in the last 24 hours. The last 24 hours. That many people have said that they haven't got a refund when they've returned the stuff. If I had taken one... Ah! I, I know, Archie, I'm an idiot. You don't have to tell me. The comment section's gonna tell me. You don't have to tell me. If I'd taken one look at this review website before I placed that order, there is no way in hell I would have spent so much. I would have just tried a couple of things just to see the quality and then potentially maybe bought some more. So I feel really, really dumb right now. So now that you're all up to speed, let's have a look at some of this stuff. For those of you that are new here, this is my feathered son, Archie. I'm gonna answer your question before you type it. Yes, the bird has to be in the videos. I'm not sending the bird away because you don't like him. There's lots and lots and lots and lots of people that do unboxings on YouTube that don't have birds. So if you don't like birds, bye bye. Thank you for watching the intro. I'm sorry that you had to sit through all of that before you got here, but if you don't like him, don't watch. Look, look, how could you say anything nasty about this bird? How? Look. He does handstands. How could you say anything nasty about Archie? Archie stays, you go. Now that I've had my rant and you're well informed, there's a few things that you can learn from this. One, it appears that lots of people don't get refunds. Two, they're probably gonna stuff up your tracking number. Three, they may even give it to the wrong person. Four, the stuff is ridiculously overpriced. Five, the sale never ends. It's always on sale. So whatever they've got marked as full price is fake news because it's permanently 50% off whatever they mark it as. We're gonna take all this stuff into my room and get changed. I've put my hair up because for some reason people always lose their damn minds if my hair is tucked into my clothes, which doesn't make sense to me because I leave it tucked in because I don't wanna cover the clothes, but apparently, no, apparently I'm an idiot. There are 81 items here, so I'm gonna put items on as whole outfits instead of doing them individually because I think that would just take way too long. So bear with me, I'm just gonna open all this up and then I'll be back in a minute. Here's outfit number one. I'm not the biggest fan of this skirt. It's made of kind of scuba material, but it feels very cheap. Not to mention you can see my undies through it. For my height, I'm about five foot eight, I think. And for me, this is really short. I couldn't go up a staircase without you seeing my bum. It doesn't really sit very nicely on me. I thought this one would fit me a lot better. I saw it on the model and I thought it was beautiful. Yes, peekaboo. The skirt is a no. I think the top is a yes. I really like the length of the sleeves. The cut is very cute. I could also wear this with jeans, skirt, shorts, anything. So top is a win, skirt is a no. Next up is this cute little number. I fell in love with this on the website, saw it on the model, thought it looked super cute. I <laughs> ended up ordering a size 12 in the top because that's the only size they had left. And I really wanted to show you guys what the outfit looks like as a whole. The skirt is a size six and the top is a 12. The top is fitting me fine. I don't actually think I would wear this anywhere. I really wanted to try it because I thought it was cute. I think, I think it'll make for a really cute photo, but I think in terms of my style and my body shape. I don't particularly like this on me. Okay guys, don't freak out. I know, I'm wearing something black, how crazy. I didn't buy this top because I like it. I bought it because I thought a whole bunch of my subscribers might like it. Lots of people always say in the comment section, I wear heaps and heaps of black, but I still watch your videos. So I thought I'd buy something black for those of you that like that color. And I bought the skirt because this outfit was matched together on the website and I thought it looked really, really good. I guess the model really pulled it off. It looked really awesome with the studs on the skirt. The skirt is made of some sort of plastic, but it's incredibly soft. It's really nice to touch. And this, for me, this skirt is a size six and it is fitting me perfectly. I feel so comfortable. It's tied in the, at the waist and then fitting really nicely on the hips. And the length is perfect as well for my height. I don't know about this top for me, but hey, some of you might like it. I think this is really cool. Uh, the skirt has, are they real? Are they real? The pockets aren't real, no. <laughs> Why? What is the point? I don't understand. It came with a belt and it has little belt hooks as well. So you could change the belt to one that you like. Also the zip goes all the way down and comes off like that. So it's really easy to put the skirt on. So this skirt is 11 out of 10 for me. I'm in love with it. The top, uh, yeah, well, it's a black t-shirt. Some of you might like it. It's not really my thing. So yeah, this one's for you guys. All right, guys, I don't know what took longer, putting these damn boots on, or well, the shipping. Honestly, it took me so long to put these boots on. They are the longest thigh-high boots I've ever seen in my life. 
Now, this outfit is directly inspired by this photo from Kayla Hadlington. I get a lot of my style inspiration from her. Now, she was wearing a blue vinyl skirt and a pink top and white boots. So this is the closest I could find to that outfit of hers. I really hate this skirt. I hate the way that it comes up like that. I just wish that it was straight across. The boots are kind of cool. I've always wanted to own a white pair of boots. So I'm glad that I found these. I think they're a little bit expensive, but I'm still happy with them. And the top, now the only size that was left of this My Little Pony top was a medium. So this is a medium, but it fits more like an extra large. The top I've actually had to kind of pull it up because it comes down to about here. It wasn't mentioned as an oversized top on the website. Look at this lighting. I'm so sorry, the sun keeps coming in and out of the clouds. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I don't have lights. Ugh, maybe one day when I get monetized. This is vintage Gen 1 My Little Pony. We've been through this in my ASOS video. So I just changed my top. This is a pink t-shirt that has Monday written on it. And in the photos online, this looked way nicer than what it actually is. It's really nasty material, like probably the cheapest t-shirt material I've ever felt in my life. It's very, very crinkled, so unfortunately I didn't have time to steam it or anything before trying it on. I don't know if I want to keep this shirt. I was so hyped about it to come, but now that it's here, I'm like, oh well, it's a pink t-shirt with Monday written on it, so I don't know. This next top I'm absolutely in love with. The material is really soft, it's quite stretchy. I think this is actually the same material as that uh, skirt, that pink skirt that I tried on with the frills. It feels kind of like scuba material. I'm not so sure about these straps because they're not going to stay like that. I've tied them nicely, but as you wear it throughout the day, these straps are just going to kind of roll up. But I think this top is really sweet. I think I can definitely pull this off with a different skirt. And also these boots are kind of killing me. These are so excruciatingly painful. Guys, I love this! I've never worn pants that stop at that height before, but I don't mind it. I've kind of got a, a little bit of a thing against frills because frills always remind me of clowns, but I mean the frills here and the frills here and down there, I think they're okay. I think these would look really really cute with a pair of heels that had a strap across the ankle. This shirt says brunch club, open 365 days. I couldn't resist. I don't know about the country that you live in, but brunch is a really big thing here in Australia. There's an entire brunch culture with Australian millennials. There's even an in-joke on the news about how millennials spend so much money on avocado toast at brunch that they can't afford to buy a house. <laughs> so when I saw Brunch Club, I was like, yes, that's me. Give me all the avocado on toast. I don't need a house deposit. I paired these two together because I thought that some checkered black and white pants and a classic white t-shirt would be really nice. I don't really wear black pants, but again, I bought these because I thought I really want to show you guys because I'm sure there'd be a bunch of you out there that would really like these sort of pants. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep them because I don't know if I would wear them a lot, but I hope that you guys are inspired by these. I hope you like them. I think I'm keeping the top. It feels so soft, amazingly soft. So I'm quite impressed with this. The top is actually very long. I think this would look really nice as a high-waisted top with jeans, these sort of pants, skirts, but yeah, I did want to show you that it's actually quite a long t-shirt. This top is gorgeous. It's really beautiful material. It's quite similar to that other grey one that I tried on, but the grey one had a v-neck. I love the colour of it. I quite like these little frilly details and I think it stops at a really nice height. I don't know about the bra underneath, I think you might have to be careful what sort of bra that you wear, but this top is so cute, I love it, I, I'm in love, I'm keeping this one. I feel like in theory this top could have been good. It looked really cute on the website, but I got a size 6 and there is no stretch whatsoever and it's so tight around my arms, like around here, and it really bothers me when you have to buy a size up. I kind of feel like Look, if you're a size 6, you should be able to confidently go onto a website and buy a size 6. And all these people in the comment section on my other video about Boohoo were like, you really needed to buy a size up? I shouldn't need to buy a size up, they should get their sizing right! Ugh. This top could be kind of cute, but it's so... Ugh, so tired, I feel like I can't breathe around the chest because there's no give here whatsoever. It kind of feels a bit like a straight jacket. If you did buy a size up in this, I think it would be quite nice, a lot more comfortable. The colour is pretty cute too. The fabric isn't very soft though, so I think this one will go back. Okay, this has me really, really torn. I'm not sure what I think about this because I think the length is really nice. Not quite long enough to pass as a dress, but the length is lovely. 
got Saturday on it, so I guess the only day you can really wear it is Saturday. I don't mind, but it's really scratchy. Very, 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 very scratchy. Like, I feel like there's bugs crawling all over my skin and biting me. It's really, really uncomfortable. But I think it's so cute. I think that it actually fits very nicely. I think that the way that they've made this, they kind of have it tailored a little bit so that it fits quite tight around here. And then it flares out a little bit at the hips. And I think it's very flattering. But it's just such a shame it's so scratchy. Oh, it's really annoying. Okay, this is a bit weird. I bought these pants. These are a size up. To what I would normally wear. These are a size 8, but I bought them as a size up because I thought, oh, well, they're that kind of vinyl material and I didn't think that they'd stretch. But they look awful. They aren't flattering at all. Maybe I should have got a size 6 because they are all sort of baggy around here. Now, on the website, they were called grey, but they look very, very blue to me. They look like a baby blue. But I really like this top. It says, fall in love. I really like the purple. I'm not such a fan of the fact that the text is hot pink, but... I think it's alright. It's got a really unusual neckline. It can't really make up its mind if it's a turtleneck or not. I don't know if I want to keep this one though. Definitely don't want to keep the pants. Okay guys, I'm so confused right now. I bought this entire outfit because on the website it looked really nice. I've never seen a top that fits like this before. I can't really describe it, but it kind of... it's almost like a scoop shape. It's really unusual. Very, very long sleeves that just want to keep falling down past my hands. And these pants break my heart. They break my heart into a thousand little pieces because they only had one size left on the website. They were completely sold out in every other size. So these are a size 12. And you know I love long wide leg trousers. And I bought these because I thought I could potentially have them tailored so that they do fit me. But I'm just not sure if it'll be worth the struggle. So if you know anything about tailoring, do you think that it would be possible for me to tailor these to be my waist size? I really don't know. They have this huge love heart on the zipper which is beautiful. I think it's so cute. I wish these pants were my size. I'm so upset. If anyone owns these and you want to sell them and they're in a size 6, hit me up please. I don't know what I think about this top. This is... Ah yes, Archie has started up now. He's been activated by the sunlight and he's having a little scream. Let's see if we can get him to come over. Archie, come on! Good boy! But you're not allowed to stay, because if you poo on these clothes, then I can't return them. Yes, someone please tell me, how does one little bird produce so much turd? Is there a spot we can put you? Look, can you sit there? Yeah, that's a nice spot. How's that? Now this is a top that one of my followers asked me to buy. It's got these big flared sleeves, and it's a turtleneck, and it's not cropped. It's about, yeah, it's that length, but I feel like if you wore this tucked into something, it would look quite nice as a cropped top. But I'm not sure what I think about it. Again, it's not very soft. It's knit, but it's not very soft at all. Here's another one that one of my followers asked me to buy. Now, in the picture, it looked like the sleeves were a lot longer. I don't have particularly long arms. They're just average length arms. But these are quite short, and I'm not sure if they're intentionally meant to be short. I suppose they are. I'll tell you what, the tag had already been disconnected, and this smells so much of musk perfume oh my gosh this is the only thing out of everything i've tried on so far that has a smell and i'm certain because the tag was completely disconnected and it smells like perfume i think someone's worn this now i bought these pants because one of my followers pastel rose goth asked me to buy them they are very 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 see-through and I suppose you'd have to wear a g-string, like a nude coloured g-string, because you can see right through them. I'm not such a big fan of them. They looked really cute on the model, but they don't really suit... They don't suit me. They are the same style as those checkered black and white ones, but I think that I pulled those off a lot better than I pull these off. I think for my complexion, these pants don't really suit me. I reckon if someone just glanced at me, they'd probably think I wasn't wearing pants. But this top, on the other hand... Look, I paired this top with the pants because I thought blue top would look really nice with pink pants. I don't think it really matches. I love it, and it's very soft. I wish that all the others were this soft. Funnily enough, when I took off that other top, I looked at the tag, and it said that it was mint. It said mint crop top. <coughs> that was blue. That was definitely blue. Oh, and to the smart ass that said to me, what do you think mint is? I would call this mint. <coughs> like green, like a minty green. There's a big difference between light blue and mint green. So I don't need you leaving comments telling me you obviously don't know what mint is. I know what mint is. I'm a pastel expert. I know what it is. <laughs> this little top 
I adore. In one of my other videos, you probably remember me saying that I don't own much. I don't own much yellow. I now have two yellow things. There's a yellow cardigan and a yellow My Little Pony T-shirt. And now there's this. This top is so cute. Definitely not with these pants. Okay, I've just switched into a pair of jeans. These jeans are a size 36 or a size 8. Now I bought them in a size 8. Archie. I think that I had to buy this size because they didn't have a size 6 from memory, but they are a little bit baggy on me. I love these giant pearls, that's so extra, I think that's really cute. You know I have a thing for pearl jeans. All my other pearl jeans have tiny, tiny little pearls. I love that these are huge. And can you see the length of them? They just kind of stop above the ankle. So you could wear really cool strappy heels with these jeans, or you could wear cute socks with the design on them. I think I'd actually wear this outfit. I think this is really cool. So this is win-win. They are just the tiniest bit baggy. Look, if they don't have a six. Oh, yes, hello. Oh, what's the matter? Did something frighten you? What is it? You can't stand on my shoulder because there's no shoulders to stand on. It's just skin and you will rip my skin if you do that. Yes. I bought this top because it looked really cute on the website. It's not my colour scheme at all. On the website it looks kind of like a dark pink, like a blush pink, but in person it's quite brown. But I think the little rose embroidery here is beautiful. I bet a bunch of you would really like this. It's extremely comfortable, really nice fabric. You aren't allowed to touch it because I'm returning it. No birdies allowed. Go over to the window. I'm trying to teach him to fly wherever I point. Like, up until now, we normally just give him a bit of a boost. We normally just kind of do that and he flies, but I'm trying to get it to the point where I can just point and he flies to where I point to. Back to the top. The top is extremely soft. I love the sleeves. They're loose, but also they pinch in here, which is cute. They're kind of just long enough, which is nice. Embroidery, beautiful. Nice neckline too. It fits at a really nice height. I recommend the top. Okay guys, who remembers my boo-hoo haul? I, I have a top that's exactly like this, but it's white, and I love that top so much. Oh, I don't know what this thing is. I think that they must put this here to stop people from wearing it without returning it. So this is just like my white Dancing with Maracas top, so that's why I bought this one. Honestly, this makes me think that Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo might actually have the same supplier because it's identical. There's actually no difference. The material, this is linen, it's quite cool. I feel like you could wear this on a warm summer day and be okay. I'm getting very Gucci vibes from this pullover. Uh, I don't know if I like the length of it. I don't know if it sits quite at the right height. And also around here, it's very baggy. This is a size small, but it doesn't fit like a size small. So you might remember that the Saturday pullover that I tried on fitted really nicely. When I lifted my arms, it didn't flare out like that. But this one, there's a lot of excess fabric here. So I don't think I'll keep this one. On the website, they had this one actually styled as a dress with pink thigh-high boots. I don't know if I could pull that off. But that could be a look for some of you guys. You might like it. This is a little bit more fitted. Remember the last one I tried on, if I did that, it, it came out really, really far. And I like this, the size of the sleeves. They're quite baggy sleeves, which I really like. <laughs> It's all right, but I think I'm gonna send this one back too. Just then when I took that other one off, I realized it has petite ah. written on it. I actually didn't notice that. So that explains why that's so short on me because it's meant to be petite. Anyway, so this one, this is a medium. This is kind of cool. It's this kind of pink. I don't have much of this sort of pink. I more go for the lighter pink. I have this long sleeved boohoo one that you might remember from my other video. I wear that a lot as a dress and this actually comes down because this is a medium. I think this is an even better length for a dress and it's not see-through. Sometimes with knitted things you can see straight through the knitting. I'm not really sure if I want to keep this one. Well, I kind of, kind of love this. This is, again, not quite my pink and not really, not really a pastel pink, but I do love a good off off the shoulder long sleeve dress. It's very soft, very, very soft. I think it's quite flattering. If I do the arm test and I pull it out, it doesn't bag out too much. A little bit difficult keeping its shape. Can you please be quiet? It's hard keeping the shape off the shoulder. Not really sure about the color though, but I think in winter this would be so lovely. So I know uh, Supreme is like the YouTuber brand, so I kind of feel like I'm fitting in a little bit as a rookie YouTuber wearing an extreme dress. This came out of the bag without the tag attached and it stinks of body odor and a little bit like cat pee. So I'm not sure who tried this on before me. I know I'm buying stuff with you. Archie! It doesn't pass the black undies test. And I don't know if I would personally wear this out of the house. 
There is a pair of shoes though that could look nice with this. I got these velvet slides. Yeah, I like this top with slides. <laughs> The slides are really, really cool with this. The slides are perfect for this sort of outfit. I'm sorry that you can't really see, but I'm not sure about this one either. If I'm gonna keep it, I don't know. I think I'll keep the slides, they're super cool. It's funny because this one is intended to be a nightgown. It was actually like sold as a pajama top, but there isn't really much that, there's not much difference between the extreme top and this one. They're the same length, they're the same fabric. This just says princess. And it's pink. So I don't know why this is a pajama top and that one's not. I love this. I think I'll keep this. This is actually nicer material than the other one. Maybe that's why this is meant to be a pajama top, because it's better material. So they give you better material to sleep in, maybe? But I think this is really cool. I'm so excited about this next dress. This gives me real Zimmerman vibes. Here's this one from the front. I'm actually not that fond of it. I don't think it fits me very nicely. It's really quite loose around here. This is a size 6. And the back, this is just a bit of a disaster. Now obviously you're not meant to wear a bra with it. Okay, I take everything I said back. Now that I've taken the bra off, it's fitting me up here a lot better. And the back is very flattering. Don't know how I'm meant to tie it up though, that's the only thing. Because it's not quite long enough to do a bow. Don't really want to show any nipples here. And I don't have uh, one of those silicone bras. So I can't really show you the front. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not sure. There's this little suede bodycon mini dress. Now I'd recommend getting a size down in this if you were gonna buy this because I've got a six and it's really loose. This, I think this is really cute. I can imagine this with a little pullover cardigan thing. Even with the hairstyle, I think if I put like a blue fuzzy um, scrunchie here and had blue fuzzy shoes, I think this would be super cute. Ah, that was... I never fit to get into this one and I couldn't even zip it up all the way. This is the dead opposite of the one I just tried on. This is a size 6 but I can't really squeeze into it. I suppose if I took off the bra it might fit a little bit easier. Or if I had Daniel here to kind of pinch it at the back and zip it up, then it would zip up. I can't zip it up on my own. I'm just a- oh actually, I think I can with a struggle but I'm not going to because I don't want to ruin it because I'm going to send this back because I don't think yellow really suits me as a dress colour. I'm not sure, do you agree? And again, it doesn't really pass the undies test either. Kind of fits, fits strangely, it sits down quite low, digs in here, so maybe go a size up if you wanna get something like this. It is a really cute dress though, I think this would be lovely to wear to a party. Well, this skirt has me slightly bamboozled. I can't get it done up at all. And it's my size, it's a size six, so I don't really know what, oh, what is going on here? I don't understand. This is ridiculous. And this bodycon, the arms, I don't understand what sort of arms this is meant to fit. I can't even open my hands. I can't get it past my hands because that opening is too narrow. This skirt smells like a garbage bag. It's vinyl, but it fits quite snugly. It's a size six and it fits me very nicely. It's not too tight around the waist. This top, uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. I really don't like that they have these things. I don't think I like it quite enough to keep it, but I put these two together because I thought a tight knee length pencil skirt would look really nice with a white top, a white off the shoulder top, and I think it kind of matches it. But this is a very crinkly top, and it's another one of those origami tops that I talked about in my other video. But I like the flared sleeves, I like this little O-ring here. I actually do kind of dig the skirt. I think it's really cool but I'm not sure if I'll keep the skirt. I wish that this skirt was a baby blue. I think I would keep it if it was baby blue, but I'm not quite sold. I don't know, what do you think? Can you go back to your cage? Come on. This is called Dusty Blue Second Skin Slinky Strappy Midi. Dusty Blue? It's not Dusty Blue. It's definitely not Dusty Blue. I do remember the dress that this is meant to be. This isn't it. Well, I'm back to being a lumpy sausage again. I didn't order a brown dress, I ordered a blue dress. This doesn't look any good on me. Put me in between two slices of bread and I'll look like a bunning sausage sizzle. But yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I think the blue one would have actually been quite nice. I would go a size up in this. This isn't fitting me like a size six dress. It's very, very, very tight. Do not like. Yeah, I bought this because I thought you guys would love it. It's a black set that has this black set has cherries all over it. I think it's so adorable. I used to be so... 
I used, I used to be so into the flared pants. I wore them all the time and I saw this outfit and I was like, oh, I have to get it just for nostalgia's sake. And I didn't buy it for me. I bought this for you guys to see. So I'll probably return this one. But I love it. I think this is the cutest set ever. This didn't come as a two-piece set. You have to pay for the top and the pants separately. The pants run a little bit big. They're very, very stretchy. These are a size six, but they fit me more like a size eight. And these straps, now you've heard about spaghetti straps. These are vermicelli noodle straps. These are the thinnest, thinnest straps that I've ever seen. I really dig it. I actually adore this top. Do you think it matters that this doesn't really... Archie, you're being ridiculous. You are the worst. You are literally the worst bird ever. Why? Why? Do you think it matters that this outfit doesn't match my aesthetic? Should I keep it? Should I return it? I saw it on the model, thought it was awesome. I reckon it'll look really cool with like a little hat and those sunglasses that Bella Hadid wears. I think you guys will love this one. I know you will. But I'm just not sure if I should keep it. Okay guys, well this is exactly the same set as that other one. It's identical. I think it was actually on the same link. It was just the options were black or pink. The pants are so sheer, so see-through. You'd have to just wear a new G-string under this as well. I adore the top. Good thing they sell it separately because I think I'll keep the top and re return the pants. The pants are just way too transparent for my liking. They're really good for my height though. If I wore a pair of heels with these, they would be really, really good. Archie. These pants are a very nice length. I love them. I adore it. Probably what Probably washes me out a little bit, but I do love the top. These straps are actually elastic. They're like... They're long elastic straps, so they stretch like this. Wish the pants were made of a thicker material though. Okay, this outfit is crazy. I probably shouldn't be pairing these two things together. It's too much hot pink. I love the top. The top is really cool. It's the same as the blue one that I tried, just the pink version. The pants... I... I'm not such a fan of these pants. They would be a lot nicer if they were a wider leg, but I reckon these would be cool on some people. They come up quite high. Archie! Please! You make everything take five times longer to film because of how bad you are. You're so bad. So bad. Yeah, I think these pants are going straight back in the bag. No second thought. I don't care if you guys like them. I'm getting rid of them. I'm throwing them out the door because I really don't like them. This top is incredibly soft. This is one of the softest things I've tried on today. It has the same baggy issue that the others had, which does kind of irritate me, but it says, darling. I like that. I don't think this is very flattering. I really wanted to like this one. The model, the model looked so cool, but I don't think this suits me. This hoodie is also very, very soft. Now, obviously I wouldn't wear this hoodie with these pants, but it says summer nights, summer nights. This hoodie is very, very warm, so I don't think I'd wear it on a summer night, but I do love this shade of pink. It's my favorite shade of pink. Like these, like this, and like some of these, I adore it. This hoodie is really sweet, I love it. And I think it was pretty cheap too, so I think I'll keep this one. This skirt is the pink version of that blue one that I tried on earlier. I do like the pink a lot more than the blue, but again, uh, friend, no. Uh, this top was requested by Pastel Rose Goth again. She wanted me to try this one on. It's not quite buttercup yellow, so I don't like it as much as the other one that I tried, but I do really like long sleeve cropped turtlenecks. I think they're adorable. Archie's in love with this. He, he really, really likes this top. I don't know, he likes certain colors. He seems to really like the color yellow for some reason. This baby doll top, I had to get in a size 12 because it was the last size that they had and it's way, way, way too loose. I think I might have to send that one back. I wish it was a size six because I actually really like the color and I love the turtleneck and it's extremely soft. So if you're a size 12 or if they have your size available on the website, I highly recommend you buy it because it's really nice. Not a fan of the skirt, but I do like it a lot more than the blue one, that's for sure. One of my followers requested this top and I'm so glad she did because I adore it. I love rainbow stripy tops. This is my favorite one, I love to wear this. And this is so cute. It's just the tiniest bit short to be a crop top because you can actually see my bra underneath it. But this would look really nice with a pair of jeans. I maybe would advise potentially going one size up just so that it comes down a little bit lower because this is so short you can't wear a bra with this but you can't really not wear a bra so I'm not sure how that works. Love the turtleneck, love the stripes, love the colours, adore this top so much. This bodysuit gives me some serious Dior vibes. They have something identical to this so obviously this is a knockoff of that. I 
don't know what I think about this because you can see straight through it, you can see nipples through this, so this isn't ideal. Uh, it's very, very transparent, so I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. Also, if you wanted to have this bodysuit, you would have to go a size up because it's very, very, very difficult to stretch it all the way and clip it at the bottom. It's just not long enough for my torso. Maybe if you're a bit shorter than me, your torso would fit into it comfortably, but if you're over five foot seven, I don't think that this would fit unless you went a size up. Okay, now I have a conspiracy theory about this crop top because this is the same one as that purple one that I tried on before. The purple one was a size 12. This is a size four and they fit exactly the same. So I think it's one size fits all and then they just categorize it into different sizes and just stick a label on whichever one they send you because they're actually identical. I held them up next to each other. They're exactly the same. I wish the skirt had been available for this top, but it was sold out. So I just got the top to try it. It's kind of cute. Gives me kind of clueless vibes. Oh yeah, it's kind of cute. Uh, it's not exactly the mint green that I was hoping. Like I know on camera, it looks quite different to what it does in person, but in person it looks kind of neon. But I actually really like this together, this baby pink and this green top. I think that's adorable. This is so soft. These are really lovely. I wish all the knitted things were this soft. One of my followers requested these pants. <laughs> They're fuzzy. I feel like Chewbacca. I would never ever wear these, but I hope I think it's Pastel Rose Goth that asked me to buy these. I hope you like them. I really do. They're very soft. They're incredibly, incredibly soft. They're a little bit see-through, so black undies are a no. They fit true to size. These are a size 6 and they fit me exactly like any other pants that a size 6 should fit. I don't really like what they do around the crotch area. I don't think it's particularly flattering. And I don't really like the shape of them either. I wish that they kind of flared out a bit more or they were more tight but they're just at a kind of awkward cut at the moment. I'll tell you what, if you saw them on the website and you really like them, you won't be disappointed by the quality. They feel really, really soft. Just put the jeans on so you can see what they look like with this crop top. I think this is a really cute outfit. I would happily wear this out. I think I might even wear this outfit later. I love it. And I'm gonna try on two really, really random tops that my followers asked me to buy. Okay, I left the halter neck on underneath this. I know it looks ridiculous, but I left it on because I don't want you to be looking straight at my bra. And this is completely transparent. And this is the itchiest thing I've ever put on my body in my entire life. And I can't, I have to take it off. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Ah! Ah! Oh my God, do not buy this. Do not, just, just avoid at all costs. Ugh. Oh, yuck. Ugh. So itchy. I hate it. I was also asked to buy this raincoat. Okay, well, this is an iridescent plastic bag. This is so loud. Listen. But that's kind of cool. I'm really digging it. I would, I think I'll keep this. I actually don't have any raincoats. So if this is actually waterproof, that's heaps cool. It's got a hood. It zips up. Does it have pockets? Oh, it even has pockets! Okay, this might be one of the most extra things that I've ever put on my entire body. This is super cool, I adore it! Thank you for recommending this. There's also this blue top. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this shade of blue. I think it could have been baby blue, which would have been a lot nicer. But the pink version of this top was really nice. It's that scuba material. It's really difficult to find a bra that sits at the right height for the scooped neckline. This is really unusual because this is purposefully really, really high on the sides. It's like a V like this and it comes up really, really high. It says doll on it just here. And I think it's kind of cute, but I don't think I can rock this look. Like just to give you an idea, that's, it's like that. Like it, it's really, really nuts. Can't imagine where I'd ever wear this. Okay. This is a loungewear set. The shorts are tiny. Ah, they're so small. Uh, the top is really nice. It's very, very soft fabric, like ridiculously soft. Um, I would actually wear this top out in public. I love off the shoulder tops. It kind of droops off one shoulder. And I really like the sleeves too. I know it's not meant to be worn in public, but I would wear this in public. It does come as a two piece set though. I guess I would maybe lounge around at home in this, but I personally, I don't feel comfortable lounging in shorts. Um, that's just me. So I don't think I would wear this really at all. This is another request from a follower. This was again from Pastel Rose Goth. 
I adore this so much. It's a one piece. This is so cool. I would love this in winter time. It's got unicorns all over it. I think it's actually the same unicorn that they have on their bags. Now, this was very difficult to get into because there's only one zip. This is the zip here, but that's the only opening. The only opening is just the neck opening. So you have to squeeze your entire body in through the neck opening. And it was really, really hard. And I had to kind of like contort myself to get into it. So potentially go a size up on this one. It's again, transparent, but it doesn't matter because you're not gonna wear this in public. Hey, if you do, that's great. I don't care if you wear this in public, feel free. <laughs> but I adore it. I'm keeping this one. This is adorable. Ah, I'm so happy. Thank you for recommending this one to me. Okay, this is my first time ever wearing a play suit. It's not long enough for my body. Uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this around the house, particularly because we also live with Sam, so I would only wear this in the bedroom. And uh, it's just a little tiny bit too short. So I don't think I'll keep this one. It's very transparent and I don't really see any practical use for it. Very, very soft though. And if you're into these sort of one piece things, you might like it. But yeah, it's not really for me. Well guys, here's, here's another one of these play suits. I can't even button this one up. It's identical to the unicorn one. Same fabric, same everything. But for whatever reason, it's way, way, way tighter. I have the worst camel toe at the moment and I can't button it up so you can see my bra. So this one's a definite, definite, definite no. But I do like the color. <laughs> now there's a couple of pairs of shoes that I still have to show you. So you know about the velvet slides and you also saw the white fly high boots, but I grabbed these. Oh, I love the feeling of fresh socks. It is the nicest feeling in the world. Thumbs up if you agree. Now these are kind of like suede on the outside and I love them. I think they're super cool. I'm definitely gonna hang on to these. I th oh, they're extremely comfortable. Like, wow, I can't believe how comfortable they are. I hope that you can see them from that angle. These look really, really cute with a little sock sticking out over the top. And I think the shape is very flattering. I really like them a lot. Oh, I'm so happy with these. I'm not that sold on the color. Like they're kind of beigey nude color. If these were pink and white, I would die. I would literally scream and drop dead because I would be so happy. I really like the chunky heel and the platform. It's got a lot of grip on the bottom, which is great. I feel like I could wear these out and about, you know, stomp around in them. They wouldn't get damaged. I love these so much. Quality wise, they don't feel great, but that doesn't matter because they were cheap. Okay, these are strange. These are huge, massive thigh high boots. They've got little pearl embellishments around here. I like this fabric way more than the fabric from the white ones. These stink. Oh my gosh, this, these aren't just thigh high. These are crutch high. What on earth? They touch the crutch. All right, guys, well, to give you an idea, I am about five foot eight, and these come up so high. I know you can't see, but I'm not gonna show you because they actually touch my crutch. That's how high they go up. So these are basically pants. Not really sure what I think about them because there's still room for them to be pulled up. So I don't know, are they, are they supposed to be like low? Are they supposed to be baggy? Are they meant to, I mean, maybe if I do that, Maybe they're... Uh, I'm not sure. What do you think? Do you think they're supposed to be pulled up really, really high and tight? Or are they meant to be left low and kind of loose and baggy like that? I'm not sure. I adore the colour and I really love the fact that they've got little pearl embellishments on them too. I think that's super, super cute. I really quite like them, but I'm, I just don't know what to think about this, to be honest. I'm very, very torn. These next ones are so pretty, so elegant. On the heel, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's little iridescent sparkles. See? See the sparkles? I love that. That's so cool. I'm not sure how durable that's going to be, whether they're going to last or not. But I love them. I'm keeping these for sure. I've been wanting a pair of heels with a strap across the ankle in pink for so long. I love them so much. I think they're really, really cute, really elegant. They're not fitting me very well. These are my size, but I feel like you could afford to go a size down in these because there's a lot of excess room at the back there. So not sure about that, hmm? Okay, these are really cute too. I have a couple of fluffy heels that I've never worn, so I don't know if I would wear these. Not such a big fan of that strap, how it does up like that. Look, I bought these because one of my followers asked me to, and I hope that she really likes them because I can tell you they're very nice quality. The fur is very, very, very soft. 
They're pretty comfy. I love the chunky heel because it's very stable. If I wiggle my foot from side to side, I, like it's quite hard to make it sort of do that. So I don't think you'd trip very easily if you're wearing these. And they fit very, very true to size as well. So I do like these and I like the color. I'm just not such a fan of that crossover strap. I might see if I can figure out some other way to potentially wear them, but I think they're quite nice. So we're just gonna have a look at some of the makeup and the accessories that I bought. Okay. Well, I thought it would be cute to have him here with me, but I guess not. You have to go back to the window because you're putting holes in things. Come on, no, no. First one is a hat that was requested to me by Pastel Rose Goth again. That is the most bougie conductor's hat I've seen in my life. I think that is really, really oversized. I don't think it looks that good on me because of how big it is. Like it fits around the head part really well, but this just kind of looks like a pink mushroom. So there was only one size option too, and that's huge. I bought this just for fun. It's a plastic bucket hat. I've never owned a bucket hat. These are kind of big online. I see pictures of them a lot. I am not so sure about this one either. I bought this just for fun. The girl in the picture looked really cute wearing it, but I feel like I have a pink bowl on my head. So not sure about that. Now we have this cute little handbag. It's a bucket bag, it closes with a magnet. It's not that spacious on the inside, it'll probably just fit a phone and some keys and maybe some money. I kind of dig it. I think it's kind of cool and it matches my nails. Look, I did my nails myself and I'm very, very proud. I think this is pretty cute. I feel like this is a shelf bag. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so next up, we have a makeup bag that has reversible sequins. It's like a gradient reversible sequins. So the sequins down here are like dark pink and the sequins up here are lighter pink. And then when you push them down, there's a flamingo! That's a makeup bag and I think that's really cool. That's awesome. It's nowhere near as big as the pictures made it look though. So I'm not, not so happy about that. I thought it was way bigger, but I think that's really cool how the sequins are reversible. Bye bye flamingo, don't want you today. If I completely reverse them, you can still kind of see the flamingo, but it's like an ombre gradient. That's cool. Now I typed into the search bar on the website unicorns, and aside from those little onesies that came up with unicorns on them, there was also this moisturizing hand sanitizer with unicorns all over it. So it says on the back here, strawberry, a handy little handbag must have, fun pocket sized and beautifully scented. This little gem is cute and convenient. Keep your hands fresh and clean whilst on the go. Ooh, oh, don't, don't you hate that? I bloody well peeled the thing off and it still didn't peel the thing off. Ah, so there's the uh, <clears throat> component. Look, matches my nails. Wow. Looks like there's this little stopper here to stop it from accidentally being pressed. So it's moisturizing hand sanitizer. Doesn't feel moisturizing. Feels really tacky. Oh, my hands are so sticky now. But it smells beautiful. Artificial strawberry, gotta love it. Next up, they've chucked a giant dirty sticker on top of this, but this is a citrus scented seashell hand cream. Oh, it's beautiful. Look. Oh, guys, guys. Whenever I get my nails redone, I'm going to hold this for the photo of my nails. I love it. Okay, let's see what it smells like. How does it open? It twists open. Oh, there's an alfoil seal. That doesn't smell nice. Oh, and it's really thick. I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like this, but it's rock solid. Okay, the packaging is adorable though. I've got a little bit on my fingers. Oh, it's really, really thick. Doesn't smell great. What did it say it was meant to smell like? Hang on. Citrus scented. You know how toilet cleaner is normally citrus scented? That's just what this smells like. So I don't think I'm ever, ever, ever gonna use that again. But I adore the packaging. That is some of the cutest packaging I've ever seen. Look, that's too cute. I love that packaging. This is ridiculous. I can't believe I bought this. The brand is called Slay Cosmetics. So obviously it's a new brand because the word Slay only just became popular somewhat recently. Shake well before use. What is it guys? What is it? Let your light be blinding. Liquid lights. Here's the packaging. 
I think that's kind of cool. So it looks like we just unscrew this and it's a dropper. But look at the gloopy texture. Ooh, that is really, really thick. Okay, well, here goes nothing. I suppose it's a highlighter. So let's put it on. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Is this meant to be a highlighter or is this one of those crazy things you're meant to put all over your face like what they do in those Instagram videos? Oh, crap, I didn't shake it. Not scented. This is in the shade Shook. I'm not kidding, it's called Shook. It's really, really gloopy. All right, well, there's no real instructions on what you're meant to do with this product. So I don't know if you're meant to use it as a highlight. No, I reckon this is like what the beauty gurus use and they put it all over their face and then they put their foundation over the top. Ugh. What have I done? Ugh. I wasn't ready to do a full face of makeup though, so I think I might just go wipe this off. You'd have to work with this really fast because it dries very quickly. It was very easy to take off, which is nice, but also might imply that it would wipe off very easily by accident. And I wasn't kidding when I told you, shook. It's literally called the color shook. So please tell me, do you think that's meant to be a highlighter or is it meant to be one of those things? That... Are you meant to put it all over your face? I'm not sure. Next up, we have another thing I can't return that they've stuck a stupid sticker on. I'm so irritated that they put this damned sticker over the top of this lipstick. Can't even show you what the brand is, but it's very, very purple. Let's swatch it. Oh, not, not much, nothing came out. That didn't really do much. Doesn't have a scent at all. Ah. <laughs> Ah, it feels like sand. You know that stuff you get from Lush and it's a sugar scrub? That's what this feels like. I don't know if I have to maybe warm it up a bit or what, but well, the color is quite purple. Can't say I'm the biggest fan of purple lips on me because it does look like I've lost a lot of circulation and I'm slowly dying when I wear purple lipstick. It's all right. It's kind of like a two-tone purple shifting to blue, but I wouldn't buy anything from that brand again because that's the most horrible consistency I've ever felt in a lipstick ever. Next up I bought some glitter and I got this because my friend Lucy made a photo recently where she had glitter on and it looked so cool. So I bought this. So this is called Chunky White UV Glitter. I'm not entirely sure how you're meant to apply this. I suppose I can watch a beauty tutorial. Maybe, how are you meant to put this on? Do you put it on with glue? Eyelash glue? I'm not sure. There's this last thing called Ink dot readable brighten up unicorn iridescent brightening drops unicorn to the core that's me oh all right look at this check this out it needs a good shake because all the stuff has settled just in one spot right there the stuff is now shook it looks kind of cool very very liquidy no instructions it's got a very very small hole in the top here so i'm just going to put some oh <gasps> What the hell? This is the most iridescent thing I've ever seen. Oh. <gasps> okay. Doesn't smell. I think it's meant to be oil. I think it's one of these things that you put on your face, underneath your makeup, underneath your foundation to give you a glow. Again, I probably should have researched into this a little bit before I bought it. It feels smooth. It's kind of oily, which makes me think it is just meant to be like an oil that you put on before you put everything else on. All right, guys, well, that's it. I'm so thankful that you stayed around and you watched the whole thing. Good on you. That's definitely the biggest haul that I've ever done. But I do have another massive haul coming up. I think I have about 63 items from Romwe that I haven't unboxed yet. They're all sitting out there. So that's going to be the next video. Well, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop some comments down below and let me know what your favorite pieces were, what you think I should keep, what I should return. So we're going to head off, but thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah. I spent $1,700, a pretty little thing. What do you think about that? I mean, I think if I pulled all my funds, I might have that much money in my bank account. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to keep all of it. It's not going to be like what happened with Boohoo.
how close do you are you just to have my nose in the frame it's That's just what they want to see they want to see every part of you because they love you they also like your butt as well oh sam keep it pg <laughs>